Malaysia's marine heritage ranks among the finest in the world. Our seas, islands and reefs are blessed with a wealth of flora and fauna, unrivaled in diversity and magnificence. It has been like this for over 12,000 years, ever since the last ice age, when a combination of climate change, geological upheavals and massive coral buildup created these beautiful natural attractions. To ensure that this natural heritage remains intact for future generations, Malaysia has established marine parks on 40 islands. Two nautical miles of water surrounding the islands are protected to help maintain fish stocks for biodiversity research, education and recreation. Recreational activities that do not harm marine resources are encouraged at marine parks. As a responsible visitor, you too have a role to play in protecting this fragile ecosystem. If you are visiting any of the 40 islands, do pay the conservation fee. Your contribution will help our Marine Park Trust Fund implement its important objectives. You can pay either at the mainland jetties or at the marine park centers on larger islands. The best way to enjoy our underwater paradise is to snorkel or dive. But do be sure to snorkel and dive only at designated areas with proper guides. Snorkelers and divers must be properly attired. Divers should securely fasten all equipment such as gauges and spare regulators. Dive operators can provide refresher courses for those who haven't dived for a long time. There are many sites that are well documented and suited for different levels of ability. To prevent coral damage, our marine parks have placed buoys at various locations where boats can be moored. Every diver should practice low impact diving techniques. You should move slowly and carefully. Know where you are in relation to your surroundings. Corals are the backbone of a reef, a product of centuries of work by minute organisms. The staghorn coral grows only 15 centimeters a year, while the bolder-looking porites manages a mere 9 millimeters. As a gentle brush can break off what has taken years to create, always ensure you know where your feet or fins are in relation to these fragile structures. Neutrally buoyant divers can get quite close to the corals. But if you are not, then chances are you'll be damaging corals. Anyway, corals are best avoided as some may cut or sting you. There are many small spaces within coral formations where marine creatures hide from predators. Please don't attempt to squeeze through. Swim around instead. While diving near sandy bottoms, do practice good finning techniques to avoid stirring up sediment that can smother corals to death and harm creatures that make their homes in the sand. Animals and plants have colonized different parts of this complex ecological system. Like humans, marine creatures too enjoy being respected. That means no chasing, harassing, or trying to ride them. Docile animals can turn aggressive when provoked, exposing you to danger. With camera housings readily available, photography and videography are hobbies that one can enjoy underwater. Do share the beauty of this place with friends and family, but please don't move marine organisms around for the sake of photographing them. Divers are in a unique position to help the reef. Join marine conservation organizations that carry out reef surveys and engage in underwater cleanups. For snorkelers, enjoy floating on the surface and watch reef creatures go about their daily routine. If tired, don't stand or rest on corals. Return to the beach or boat or rest at floating platforms provided by the marine parks. 
visitors can feed fish in marine parks, but only in designated areas. Overfeeding may cause fish to be more aggressive and dependent on us for survival. For fish to act naturally and behave less aggressively, we should minimize their interaction with humans. Rubbish is not only unsightly, it invariably harms the environment. On land, do dispose of your rubbish properly, in the bins provided. While on the boat, bring your litter back with you. Garbage harms life in the sea. Marine turtles often mistake floating plastic bags for jellyfish. Once swallowed, the bags will choke them to death. You cannot fish anywhere in a marine park, including from the beach or jetty. Possession and use of fishing line, fishing rods, fish traps, poisons, explosives, electricity, harpoons or spears is also an offense. Sand is an important part of our marine ecosystem and comes mostly from shells and corals. For this reason, don't collect corals, shells or any other marine organisms from the beach or underwater, whether dead or alive. Removing empty shells will also deprive many organisms from having a home and a safe place to hide from predators. Likewise, don't buy souvenirs made from coral, shell, and threatened marine species, as your action jeopardizes the marine park's conservation efforts. Instead, why not explore the island on foot? There are trails with various levels of difficulty. The biodiversity and scenery will keep photographers happily occupied. You could also try bird watching. Do also respect government property. Don't remove or vandalize structures, buoys and notice boards. If you see anyone collecting, disturbing, or harming marine life, do make a report at the nearest marine park center. Park offenders can be prosecuted and fined a maximum of 20,000 ringgit, or two years jail, or even both. Marine park rangers are here to make your stay safe and pleasant, so please ask them if you have any queries. Do your part and help us make the marine parks of Malaysia a safe haven for both marine life and visitors.